Uh, we have got a man who has hot-footed it from the Olympia Theatre. We have heard that he is actually in the building, so uh, we're going to bring him out now. Fantastic. Uh, our next, uh, our next guest, folks, is on tour. He played Cork last night. He played the Olympia in Dublin uh, tonight. He is on a 84 dates out of 127 dates throughout the UK and Ireland. We are delighted that he has taken the time to squeeze us in tonight. Uh, as he said, good evening, Dublin, and not good evening, Belfast, when he walked on stage. Please welcome Mr Tom Allen. <laughs> Grand coming through that curtain, you feel like it's the reverse of a funeral. <laughs> coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back <laughs> through the curtain. <laughs> Have you guys met before? Or? Well, no, no, really. we haven't. No, 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 we we haven't. haven't. No, I, no, I no. feel that you need a James Blunt in your life because he's he's very well connected. Yes. Um, would it be okay to say you 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 are posh? I'm a posh twat, it's called. The official, well, no. title. <laughs> the official title is a posh twat. Yeah. Um, well, well, no. We, we, Are you allowed to use that word? I mean, you, you just have, so it doesn't really matter. Apologies. Uh, it, it, it's getting late, but you, of course, um, I would say, you're, you're, we've spoken about this before, you, you're posh, but you're not. Well, I'm not posh. It's all an affectation, really. So you probably wouldn't want to be friends with me, James. I, um, I've been cursed with this posh voice. Uh, but my family all talk like that, really. They're like, I don't know where we got him from. <laughs> and I remember when I was a kid, um, my dad was doing up our kitchen and I said, Dad, have you thought about putting in a breakfast nook? <laughs> and my dad said, have you thought about getting your own house? <laughs> um, so um, they were, but they, you know, they've been blessed with a camp <laughs> child. You know, that's the thing. And you'll know, you know, maybe your family, uh, someone in your family maybe is showing signs of, of the gift. Uh, <laughs> And, I, you know, I, think I, I think I was <laughs> earlier on, Tom, when I was <laughs> smashing some bottles in an outfit that may have gone viral with Jean Claude oh. Van Damme. Oh, Check I it heard out. about that. Mm. I heard about that with your tights on. Tights well, on. as long as you hear and don't look, you might be okay with that. Okay, so. fine. Well, yeah. I mean, I was always a sort of flamboyant child, though, but I, I never kind of, I was never properly posh. I just sort of liked to give people an interior de design rundown, and um, I could never catch a ball or kick a ball or. Or, or high five anyone, but yeah. my teachers would say I was a pleasure to have in class, but, but which you... is code for saying he's a gay child. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, you say you couldn't catch a ball and you couldn't kick a ball. Uh, you have family from Mayo. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. I don't know what that what you're what you're suggesting there. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm just suggesting they've been very, very unlucky. Oh. Uh, with their, their footballing exploits. Oh, have they? Um, you've also Donny Gall family. I've as got well. family in Donny Gall. I've got family in Mayo. I've got family in in, in Derry. And uh, they. But my my grandmother's family was from Ballina, and um, down by the quay. If anybody knows it. Um, if any of you met my auntie Cecilia Bernadette Marie Hinnigan, um, <laughs> and that's how she'd pick up the phone as well. Hello, <laughs> Cecilia Bernadette Marie Hinnigan, um, and she lived in, in <coughs> at number one quay cottages, the quay Ballina. Island. And, um, <laughs> and I always like the fact that people, people in the UK perhaps hadn't heard of Ballina as much, but now Joe Biden goes there and says, my family's from Ballina, and suddenly I feel like I'm sort of cheated. But um, my, uh, Cecilia Bernadette Marie Hinnigan was there first. Yes, <laughs> but, but, but you're also kind of related to, you know, royalty. You're, you're, oh, you're related Patrick, to, uh, to yes. Irish broadcasting royalty. Well, you know, I did this show, DNA Journey, uh, for ITV in the UK, and uh, you learn a lot about your family history. A lot of people find out they're related to, like, Richard III or some, you know, a monarch or something, somebody like that. My cousin, it turns out, is Gloria Hunniford. <laughs> so I think, in terms of, like, camp, camp connections, it couldn't be more extreme, really, <laughs> to be related to a loose woman. And there she... Oh, there she is. And do you know what? She walked in... Oh, well, it was like a surprise to find out who, who we were related to. With lovely Joel. She, with Joel lovely Dom. Joel Dom. She just starts presenting things. She's such a seasoned broadcaster. She just starts interviewing people wherever she is. I imagine she goes into the supermarket and starts presenting... starts interviewing people behind the delicatessen. <laughs> um, you, you, how long are you on this tour? We, we, I mean, I mean, uh, James, James can't even be bothered I to know, come I'd love play to be on the tour. Oh, I mean, James, yeah, come with me. I'd love to. I'd be your support act. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> um, the, um, <laughs> but you, that's it. I love that. that Don't be it. ridiculous, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I meant. <laughs>
Um, you can, you're very welcome to join Thank me. You. It's been lovely to be on tour. People were messaging me saying, oh, I'd love to see you live. But of course, when that's written down, it reads as, I'd love to see you live. Yeah. <laughs> Which sounds like a death threat, doesn't it? <laughs> Hand on, hand on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so, but it's been lovely, lovely to be here in Ireland. I was in Cork last night, the food capital of, of, um, of Ireland. They, it's called, they call themselves the food capital of Ireland. They do. But anybody could do that. Anyone could just put up a sign and say, I could say I'm the food capital of Ireland. <laughs> you can't, I don't know who, who decides it. But we had a lovely time, went to the English market, went to the Farmgate Cafe. Have you been there, Patrick? No, I have well, not been to the Farmgate. You must go there. You must go and have the chowder. Lovely. Do you like chowder? I do love well, chowder. you're going to love that place. OK. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, uh, we, we, we're going to have to uh, bring our little soup chat to uh, a little well, soup song. Well, I was just getting going You were just well. getting going. Apparently, there is a winner of €10,000 that oh. we're going to have to talk to. But we're not going to be speaking to her. Uh, we're going to give her her name. And uh, she is Mary Donovan from Blanchardstown. Ooh. And, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she won 10,000 euro tonight, and we were going to speak to her, but we thought that you would be way more interesting telling us about chowder and cork. So well no. done. <laughs> oh, no, what? No, no, Don't no, no, say no, that. No, what, have no, I, no, have we, I talked over her bit? No, we were never, that... go we were never going to talk she to was her. Never, she never had a chance. No, she's, <laughs> luck she's lucky enough she got the cash. She's uh, got 10 grand. She doesn't care. She